Hey guys, I am concluding the GraphQL boilerplate series. I think it came out really well. Now, this doesn't mean I'm done using this boilerplate or done maintaining it. What I want to do is as I improve and as I change how I want to do things, um, I change the boilerplate as well. So I hit the main topics that I want to hit with this boilerplate. And for the most part, it has all the kind of user management things that I wanted to have it do. And so I can actually use it in different projects now. And then when I'm doing it, using it in these projects, I might change how the boilerplate works. That way, uh, for future projects, I, I, I change my methodology or whatnot. So basically the only difference now is I'm not going to be doing daily videos on the boilerplate anymore. I'll just be doing maybe occasional ones to tidy it up or change it as I uh, see fit. Now I'd say the biggest takeaway I took from this series is how much I enjoyed testing. So using Jest and uh, I could very quickly find the errors that I was making and then going back and fixing them. Uh, so something that I want to try is testing my front end better too. Uh, I do a very bad job of testing things. So I want to dig more into uh, find like a good rhythm of uh, being productive with testing in the front end as well. So that's what I'm going to be trying out very soon. And other things coming up in the future. Uh, Prisma recently just did a new rebranding, got some new funding, and now also supports uh, PostgreSQL. So I want to check that out and I want to do a couple videos on that. And then also after that, uh, a new series. Um, I'm going to be building a project uh, that basically implements all the stuff we used in the boilerplate. So the boilerplate was all back and stuff. I now want to introduce react into this and how react can use all these things and then also uh, basically you know add more stuff to this and be like a full project kind of like how I did with the slack clone and then the other thing a big announcement I am setting up a patreon page um, by the time you're watching this it's probably already up so check the link in the description below uh, if you'd like to support or if you felt like you got any value out of this series I'd appreciate uh, and uh, yeah so that's it for this I'll see you guys soon